I'm going to be showing you uh, how to uh, move an animated GIF. Because uh, in GIMP, it's, it's, a, it's a little weird, but it's not, it's not too weird. Uh, uh, and what we're going to, the final thing is going to look like this. just simple so I'm just gonna show you how to put an animated GIF uh, into into another uh, JPEG or, or PNG picture or whatever uh, like this TV um, you could uh, search Google or whatever images and, and find a TV you want or you could put it in anything you want it's uh, the same concept on anything you're doing when you're uh, resizing an animated GIF and, uh, and moving it um, okay let's get started Okay, what you want to do is you want to go up into your file. You want to open up your pictures. Which this one I'm going to open up the TV first. In there. Oh, and we're also going to be, uh, I'm going to show you how to put guidelines in there and and, uh, and all that. To make the, uh, that way we can get the GIF uh, uh, lined up right. You just go over here to the side right here where this little ruler is and click, right click, and drag. And then uh, you want to put it in and then you zoom in, zoom in right here or you could use your scroll wheel. And just, you can move over like that. And then you want to uh, make sure you go up here and you want to click your move tool. Then you want to go over here. And normally it'll be right here, move active layer. You want to go up here and you want to pick a layer or a guide. Choose that. And then now you can grab your you can grab your guide. And uh, I got I got my GIMP set up to where you I could zoom in and out with my mouse wheel. I could do a tutorial on that and show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. And I also got it where I could pan with my mouse. I will show how to do that if. if uh, but, uh, but normally you could zoom in, zoom out, and you could pan and move and all that kind of good stuff uh, with this. Uh, if you want to pan, if you don't know how to set up your mouse wheel. All you got to do is come right here to this little arrow, and you can move the picture to wherever you want to move it. If you don't have your mouse set up like I do, but we're gonna move it over here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, and I am going to grab my guide, and I am gonna put it over here at the end of the gray. Well, actually, let's move it back over to where it's black right here. And then I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to grab another guide. And I'm going to drop the guide on this side. And then we can zoom back in over here. Then, like I said, we can pan over here so we can see the guideline. guide to right there zoom back out let's look and see how that looks uh, I need to move it in a little bit closer I'm gonna zoom back in all the way and pan back over move it to right there zoom back out and then now you go up here to this top ruler you grab a guide up here, and you drop it down, and then you zoom, zoom in, pan down to it, where you can see. I think that looks pretty good right there. And I'm gonna go up here and grab this, and grab another guide for the top. And I'm gonna 
Let's set it about right there. Let's zoom in and let's pan the top and let's see how that goes. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to zoom all the way back out. And I am we're going to go up here and we're going to bring the GIF in now. We're going to go back up to file. Open as layers. And then you want to go and navigate. You want to go and navigate to wherever you put your your GIF and all that. I'm going to grab, then grab your GIF that you're going to use. Press open. Uh, and then uh, you could use that. Uh, you can find everything up here if, if you need your tools, uh, your selection tools, all that. That's all this stuff that's on this side. You go to layer, and then you could go right here to delete the layer, or you could come back over here and you could right click and move back down, and then go to delete layer because I don't I don't need that and I don't want that in in here. Okay, now what we're going to do, see, now if I try to move this, now you remember to set your your, uh, your move tool back to move the active layer, because if you don't do that and you click over here, whatever, it's going to just move everything. Now see, now I'm going to go and try to move this GIF, and see, I can move that, but it's not moving the whole thing. It's just, you know what I mean, it's moving, the GIFs are all in layers. So what we need to do is we need to link the GIFs together. That way we can move the whole thing in one shot. And you just go up here, go to edit, undo move layer. Now it's back in its place. Okay. Now you could go right here and you could click every one of these if you want. And sometimes that's that's a big pain because that takes forever. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the shift on your keyboard hold down shift and click and that will link every single one on here and then that way you know because like I said GIF a lot of time has a lot of layers and it's just a pain to go and click every single one of them so I got them all all linked now you don't want to move the background layer and stuff so we just go back and we'll unlink the background layer and then now if we go and try to move the layer, see, it all moves. We can move the whole thing around in the picture. Okay. Now, now we got it linked, okay? Now, if you want to resize a GIF, you have to make sure you have them all linked or whatever because like I said, you know, if they're not linked and and you got one missing or whatever, it's going to the the animation is going to be messed up. Oh, and also we don't need uh, we don't need that but I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer go okay and then we're gonna come down here and uh, I'm sorry I'm getting I'm getting all mixed up here I'm sorry we go forget about that new layer go ahead and delete the that and then we'll go right here and we're gonna turn this layer off these eyes turn the layers off and on we're going to turn this layer off and see the reason why I use the guides you see now it's off or whatever but we know what size we need to make the the animated GIF to fit in there to fit in the TV screen so what we need to do we need to come over here to our toolbox and there's this tool right here it's the scale tool we want to click on that and then we want to come back over here to our animated GIF and we want to click on it. Oops, sorry. And you want to make sure you're on the right layer. Make sure that you're on the right layer, the the uh, background layer of the GIF. Make sure you're always on the start of that layer. Sorry about that. And uh, now we want to click on it. Now we could go ahead and resize the GIF to go up here to the to the layer guides. There's an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to show you this this way for now. And try to line them up the best you can. And then, like I said, we could go we could go in here and we could zoom in and just 
move it down to the guideline and then pan down a little bit zoom in a little bit okay and you know you can be more precise over here oops okay zoom back down and we'll pan up and we'll check this one out you need to be dropped down a little bit just a little bit Click right here in the move, middle, and you can move the whole line. Pan over here, see what it looks like over here. We need to move this side to the guideline, and then we need to pan back over here and check this guideline. Make sure it's not too far away from guide. Just a little bit. Scroll back down. Lower that just a tiny bit. Just a tad more. I said there is a little bit easier way to do this but I don't want to get everybody confused right now okay and then you just want to zoom back out yep I knew it move a little bit too much there we go and then we zoom back out and right here and we want to press scale and that's going to go ahead and scale the whole GIF. That way we don't have to do nothing to it. And then we could go back over here. And we could turn the TV back on. Or the TV layer back on. And it's, and it's in there. Fits perfectly. Fits perfectly. And sorry if... Uh, I'm not pronouncing stuff and all that right. I, you know, I'm not no computer genius but uh now what we want to do is we want to go like I said you go over here to the layer and you can merge it down we want to merge this layer down into the TV layer or we could go back to this one and click right click on it again and press merge down and that's that's pretty much it and then you could go back if you want and move the guides off of it and stuff but we don't have to. Now to check your animation, you go to filters, animation, playback, and this is what, what, what we just made. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. You ask me. Then all you want to do is you just want to go up here. You want to go file, export, name your file, whatever you want to name it. And then on this side, though, we don't want to save it as a JPEG. Make sure everything animated we want to save as a GIF. Just type in GIF. So Dean in the TV dot GIF. And then you know nav navigate over here wherever you want it to, to be saved at. 
then you hit export and then this this little window will come come up now you want to make sure as animation is clicked now if you want to change how fast it goes and this changes the whole speed of the whole GIF and uh, but we don't want to change nothing you just go add as animation if you want the animation to only go th go through the uh, all the layers once and then stop at the original one you will want to uncheck loop forever but I want mine to loop forever so you want to make sure loop forever is checked and then you just hit export and we could go and we could check out what we just made and there we go and that's what it looks like and you could put it on whatever whatever you want to put it on you put it on uh, the web page uh, anything anything you want to put it on you can put it on so I, I hope you guys uh, learned a lot I hope this helped some people if you have any questions leave leave some comments below um, I would be happy to answer them um, thank you and there will be more tutorials coming